Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. So we have the moon, Pisces energy. We have the world, Libra energy. Who's confused about whether or not something's done or not? Somebody's like, I don't know if it, we're done or if it's over with. Five of Pentacles. Has this person really abandoned me? Have they really walked away from me? I just saw 111 on the camera. Somebody's feeling rejected and left out in the cold. Yeah. Because either you're hiding your feelings from them or they're hiding their feelings from you or they're still not want to come in and express feelings and emotions. They don't want to be vulnerable. Clarify the moon. I think that somebody doesn't want to show you that they're feeling this way. Clarify the moon. Yeah, the seven of cups. Things being very uncertain. Like not really knowing what the hell's going on. Confusion. Clarify the world. Internal conflict. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody doesn't know. For some of you, somebody doesn't know if they want to end a cycle. Somebody's like looking at all their options, trying to figure out what the best one is to choose. Clarify the five of pentacles, the chariot. Somebody definitely feels like you're mo moving on or it could be you guys feeling like this about somebody else. Like somebody feels like they're being left behind, like you're moving on without them. Clarify hiding feelings. We have it's time. Back of the deck, we have the tower, Scorpio energy. The divine is intervening here. In what way? The three of pentacles, justice, and the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. What about the queen of wands? Judgment. The divine is intervening to, I feel like, make whoever this person is that's coming through, your twin, Sorry, guys, they're right by my window with this. I feel like um, the divine is pushing somebody here to make a decision about a feminine energy here, whether this is you or about somebody else. I don't know. So what is this judgment call here? Sexual encounter and waiting. Fe feeling, fe feelings of neediness, hopeful they'll return. Somebody's been hopeful that somebody returns for a sexual encounter. What the hell? King of Swords could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. What about the King of Swords? Frozen. This person, what the hell? This person has been hoping that, so this is the kind of relationship where like you and this person would hook up or you guys would sleep with one another, but it, it never like went to any really, it really didn't go any further than that. Like, This could be one of those situations where y'all would re reconcile, y'all would hook up, and then y'all would stop talking again or something like that. What the heck? They're getting some type of clarity, though. It's like they're resisting some, making some type of changes here. What is What are they seeing clearly here with the King of Swords? The Five of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Cups. And the six of pentacles they're fighting they're in a relationship with somebody or fighting with them it's like if they're with somebody else they're starting to realize that they chose the wrong person to try to have an equal give and take with it's like they try to like make you the person that was like the mistress this has been coming i'm sorry some of you guys can be sag sag serious placements because sag just had a reading that i did yesterday about somebody finding out that they're the third party this person was trying to keep you as the person on the side, the person that they were, like they would have sex with you, whatever. And then they have somebody else who they were either married to or they were living with or that they had a family with who they're always fighting with. They're trying, and like, but they feel like, they're feeling like that with you, they could have had equal give and take. They don't have it with this person. Like, this is really going to sound really freaking dumb, guys, but they're starting to realize that the person that obviously, like, it was in the Nine of Pentacles energy that had their shit together, that was independent and stable, was obviously the one that they should have tried to, you know, have an equal give and take with. <sighs> Why were they putting you on hold? Why were they, they were trying to find out more about you. Yeah, why were they putting you on hold? 
Why were they putting you on the back burner? This is so weird. The cleanup. This person knew that they were going to have to. Okay, they knew that they were going to have to cut off certain things and people have its ways to be with you. Heal. But this person doesn't like change. Yeah, the divine is forcing this person to do this now. So you're like, we've given you a more, but the, the divine intervention could be the divine guiding you to to end things with them. Because I feel like you guys have gone into this energy where you're kind of gone, you're, you're setting boundaries. You're focused on yourself. You're not falling for their bullshit as easily as, as you did before. Um, you're kind of, you've gone cold on them. I told you, this person feels like you're, you're leaving them out in the cold. You're icing them out. They're, they're really wondering, like, okay, is the collective really done with me or not? But I do think, feel like you're ending things with this person. Because they were being deceptive. Two of Pentacles, they were juggling you. And wanting you to, like, wait on them or be patient with them or something like that. So let's get more to the bottom of this. Somebody doesn't feel like they can hold back their feelings. Like they've been wearing this mask or trying to mask their feelings. But yeah, I feel like they're starting to get to that point where they're about to surrender to their feelings. Stop suppressing them. Let's see. So what is going on within the situ this other situation? The Eight of Swords, they feel trapped there. They kind of feel like their hands are tied or they kind of feel help helpless there. They feel like they're in prison. For some of you, they are in prison. Tell me more. They're stressed out. Look, five of wands. A lot of fighting, a lot of conflict. Bickering, conflict, opposition. Look, look at this cold as ice. There's no love there. There's no love there. There's no warmth there. Yeah. Okay, one more card. Why is the ace of cups here? The two of wands. They feel like there is a situation that there is love in. There is warmth. But they just got to make the decision to, to go down that path and they haven't made that decision so what is keeping this person from making that decision the king of pentacles it could be just them feeling like they need to remain loyal to somebody it could be money um it could be security why what's keeping them from making that decision this person is like thinking okay should i choose money over love like should i choose love or over money or money over love should i be logical or should i follow my heart we have children, so there's something to do with kids, too. Ace of Wands. What are the Ace of Wands? They see the potential in a sit being with you because they, they view you as this Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, they like to be able to have their freedom and their independence. Maybe they feel like they have that to some degree with this other person. Yeah, that could be one of the things. But I, I feel like it's more so this person sees the potential with you. They see, like, okay, that, you know... The collective really has their life together. So, of course, you know, being with somebody like that, having somebody like that in my life would be good. But what's the problem? Yeah, making things manifest what you want, wants you. They like your ability to make shit happen. Yeah, nine of wands. But this person, yeah, this person's not ready to give up some type of player lifestyle. That's actually starting to weigh quite heavy on them now. Yeah, I think this person is like likes to be have their state. Like they like to have their cake and eat it too. It's like they like to have. It's a lot of different reasons why they're not staying over there. But we have surrendering. So it looks like they're about to um, they're closing out a cycle. They're close closing out an era of their life. Yeah, the hanged man letting something go because they're starting to see things differently now. In what way? The hanged man. In what way? The empress. They see. They feel like you're the empress. Taurus energy. The Ace of Pentacles and the Dark Knight of the Soul. So as this person's going through this Dark Knight of the Soul, they're starting to see that you were the you're the ideal partner, and they're starting to recognize you as their divine counterpart, their ideal partner, the person that makes them happy, the person that they can't have a steady union with, and they're in regret because they feel like that person, the the, the person that they view now as the perfect partner, is leaving them out in the cold and abandoning them because they treated that person like a side a side piece. Yeah, this person feels like they, they committed to the wrong person or they gave somebody else the position in their life that they should have given you. Yeah, they feel like they, they like they cheated themselves out of their own happily ever after. What about the Page of Wands, though? The Six of Swords, Page of Wands, Six of Swords, the Knight of Swords. I feel like you'll hear from this person. They're going to try to make the situation better. They're going to want to take you out on a date or they're going to want to try to spend some time with you they're gonna want to try to 
give you something more stable. Um, you know, I don't see them trying to rush you into anything. I feel like they're going to be patient with you. They're going to want to take things slow, but they want to work towards something. They want to work towards marriage and commitment, living together. They're coming towards you a lot more vulnerable. But it's only after they go through this dark night of the soul. As they go through this process, they're gonna start their perspectives on everything is changing. Their perspective on you, their perspective on this other person. This person's not gonna be able to let you go though. The problem with this person too is that they're like resisting this. I feel like this person's really not gonna be, be able to let you go or to even make peace with the situation with you unless they apologize to you. So I do see an apology because yeah, they're stressed out over what they did to you it's like they're they're being like consumed with regret and guilt and remorse and then on top of that they're having some type of money issues or something like that so yeah it's like i see them walking away from something or it's almost like you're walking away from them because you feel like that's the best choice to make for yourself and then now this person in this energy where they feel like you're a catch and they need to conquer you and they got to do what they need to take action. They got to do something to get you back. Like they become kind of obsessive over you or just about obsessive about trying to, you know, get you, get things back on track between the two of you or in, in better than it ever had been between the two of you doing right by you really. Before I move away from the tarot, why did they choose this person, this karmic or whoever this person is? Why did they choose this other person? The Three of Pentacles. It could have been somebody that they work with. Tell me more. The Fool. They're really just stupid. Why did they um, choose this other person? The Knight of Wands. See, there's something here about the Sun. Forbidden and the Queen of Pentacles differences fam so they thought that their family would approve of this person there's something about them thinking that y'all were too different they thought this person was more like them see this is one of those situations where like your twin lacks motivation i won't say they're a bum but they're kind of a bum or they just they don't have their shit together right so for some reason they thought it was a good idea to go towards somebody that also didn't have their shit together and they thought that they were going to be able to work on something with that person and build something with them make it make sense guys i don't know they thought that they could go towards their hot mess they thought they could go towards another hot mess and that they could build something together mm. the fact that you had your shit together and they didn't made them feel like they didn't want that y'all weren't compatible i don't know when in reality they're starting to realize that when they had you around, they started doing better. They they started doing worse when they started going over here with this person that was just as discombobulated as them, just as unstable as them. They're starting to see this now. Yeah. The Page of Cups and the Hierophant. What does that do with... Um, yeah, they're, they're learning a very difficult lesson here. Separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. Yep. Yeah. So it was important for you guys to set these boundaries and to cut them off, let them go for right now, release them, let them release them to be able to go and learn these lessons apart from you. What is the hair font and the page of cups? Mirroring. The two of swords. And the, you guys both had lessons to learn. Yeah, three of wands, waiting for what? Eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles. You guys both have an inner knowing that this isn't over. Yeah, you guys still, like, deep down want this, but I feel like there's also a knowing that, you know, maybe you and this person couldn't be together right now. Even if they don't have that knowing, you have that knowing. All right. All right, let's see what else. Let's see. The time is now. Look, we have it's time, divine intervention, no more running. So the time is now for what? Fair. 
fairy tale fantasies. Somebody's getting a reality check. Somebody has some type of unrealistic expectation. Either you had this about this person or this person had this about you. It says release unrealistic expectations to avoid disappointments. So somebody's either having a reality check or somebody is facing the reality of a situation. Leading to what? Waste of your time. So somebody is realizing that they're wasting their time or somebody is a waste of their time. Tell me more. A water sign. So somebody is realizing that a water sign, they've been wasting their time with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What does this have to do with my collective? And this person, their twin. See the unexpected. They're planning a special surprise for you. What does this surprise look like? We have next month. So you're going to hear from this person soon. Possibly in the month of June. Hidden agenda. Ulterior motives and intentions will affect the outcome. Hidden agenda. And we have last try. They've given up on love. This is their last effort. And we have open heart. Emotionally available and open to receiving your love. So I feel like, like I said, this person is realizing that they've been just wasting their time trying to be with this other person or cultivate something with this other person. So I feel like they're making the decision to... They're about to release that person. Yeah, open book here again. They want to get to know you on a deeper level and for you to get to know them. So this person is making the decision to open up to you. To try to get closer to you. What about this third party though? Fire. Aries Leo Sag energy. What about this third party? They're, I'm telling you guys, they're about to leave this person. They either they may even ghost this person. Ghosting and disappearing acts left with no closure. I don't like that though. Or that third party is ghosting them because didn't I say that the divine is forcing them to do something? So what is how, how do they feel about this abandonment? Lost love, holding on to an ex or delaying progression forward. Yeah. So who's getting abandoned here? Worth the risk. Great love is worth taking chances and making sacrifices. They may be taking a leap of faith and leaving that person, but why? What's making them do it? Is it because you're pulling back your energy? Why are they taking this leap of faith? Very soon, Spirit says. Why? Puppy love. Butterfly feelings will be felt, but this may be infatuation, not real love. Why are they taking this leap of faith? New love. A new door and love awaits, but it's up to you if you, you open it or not. This person feels like, they feel like these like butterfly-ish type feelings. Like they get butterflies when they're around you. And it's like, it's not that this person doesn't love you. This person feels like it's risky because uh, they feel like you guys, it's like, it's not that they don't love you. It's like this person feels like what they feel for you is not something that they thought that they could ever feel for somebody. Like. This person doesn't correlate those like butterflies and that excited feeling that you get around somebody that you have like a crush on. They don't correlate those feelings with love. So they're thinking, oh, I just have a crush for that person. Like they think that the, this is the type of person that thinks the honeymoon phase fades. It, it can. It does a lot of times for a lot of relationships, but it shouldn't. Right. So this person is like thinking because they feel this way about you, you make them have butterflies and all this stuff like that. Oh, you they just probably have a crush on you or it's just infatuation. It's going to fade. Like they're, that's what they're afraid of, that it's going to fade. Or like you got, I don't know, but they're going to do it anyways. Like they're going to take a leap of faith towards you. This person's going to be really like infatuated with you. Yeah, something's happening very soon. Within a few weeks, next month, they are holding on to hope that everything will work out. Phone call. Yeah, you're going to hear from them. Open lines of communication, they will call. Yep, speaking up, finding the courage to express what's in their heart. See, and they do want to sleep with you, though. That came out earlier. Lust will act as the motiv main motivator, fueling momentum in the situation. I don't know. 
I feel like you guys are going to have a choice to make. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be expecting this person coming towards you in this energy. And it says your intuition is off or your judgment is clouded. Take a step back before you make any major decisions. 